Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, you remember back in the day I actually told you on this very show regarding the three different types of frames in video encoding. If you're interested to go into slightly more detail about the subject, of course you can pop over to the earlier episode of Friday Minis, but in very quick summary, essentially there are three types of frames when it's actually encoding and storing a video. An iframe, also known as an intraframe or a keyframe, is basically a complete picture. And we have iframes so that, well, the other types of frames can actually build on top of this. A P frame is a predicted frame, and it contains only the differences between itself and its previous frame. So, well, in most videos between each frame, a lot of things are similar, and so you don't have to store the repeated elements. A B frame is a bidirectional frame, and it is essentially a P frame but on top of that, it can also make reference to future frames. That's why it's called bidirectional, because it goes backwards and forwards. As you would expect, the iframes actually play a very critical part in just playing back videos with predicted frames. And the reason for that is because, well, a whole lot of frames actually depend on this one iframe, because they just keep building on top of whatever this iframe sits. And that is why one particular factor always comes into play and that is how far you space apart your iframes. Now, if you actually do video work, you will see your encoder have an option called GOP. What is GOP and what does it mean? GOP stands for a group of pictures. So how do we group pictures together? Well, you see, every time you have an iframe and a bunch of P frames or B frames that actually build on top of it, well, that is a group of pictures. These are related, because they share the same iframe. That's why you always see the term GOP normally associated with a size, and this is exactly what the GOP option is actually affecting. So if you reduce the GOP size, essentially what you're doing is you're asking for more iframes. If you increase the GOP size, then, well, because groups get bigger, the iframes get fewer and far between. If you have more iframes, seeking and editing becomes easier because, well, you don't have to search so far every time you land on a particular frame while seeking. The downside of this, of course, is that you have a larger file size, and that's because you get to throw away less information. With a large GOP, you achieve good compression, but seeking will become slower because every time you land at a frame, whatever player or editor that is actually you know, running will actually have to go backwards and search for the closest iframe. Once it has that iframe, it's going to have to play forward through all the P frames and build up until we get to the frame you're looking for. And there you have it, that is what the term GOP refers to. Well, I hope you learned something today, that's all there is for this episode, and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Hello, thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, remember that I appreciate every like, favourite and comment you give me. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more updates outside of YouTube, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at 0612TV. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.